Welcome to Vintage Coin App Restorations and Exhibit Supplies 1939 Blue Streak Crane. Well, if you've been following us on Facebook or YouTube, uh, you would have saw this machine when it came in and it, boy, was it tired. It's been around a long time, like I said, 1939. And uh, in the end, it actually was stuck in a basement and a flood and that bottom wood was so dry it sucked it up like a sponge and we had major rot and the i think the dimensions of the bottom were about another two another two inches kind of just winged out but we took care of all of that and uh we just brought it back to its glory let's do a quick walk around You have your instruction card back there. And in the front here, you have, you have a, a, works on a nickel. And as you insert it, uh, the light goes on. And here on your handle is where you control the direction of the crane. Now, if you look and you look at the, and we zoom in really quickly, you'll see that you can control front, center, rear, depending on where you have your little uh, marker or in the middle somewhere. And uh, that's pretty much all just when you lock it in, you, you cannot change it when it's in operation. So for five cents, you have an opportunity to win some stuff. Is it easy? No, you're not supposed to win. This was about one thing. It was about an operator trying to make some money and boy, did they. They did it so well that here we are in 2023 and uh, this machine still exists. It's because it made money and it still can. So uh, it's just there's times that people put silver dollars in here and uh, just because of the weight, it couldn't pick it up. But uh, people tried and tried and tried and tried. Well, let's take a look in, on the inside and see what we did. Well, as we come around the side here, I had opened a door. Um, if you saw the first video, you would have saw that this thing was, it was wired, but boy, I don't know what they had going on there. It didn't quite work correctly, but uh, uh, typically there would have been a mercury switch and a full mechanism here. And you can see with the holes there that there was something there, but not there anymore. So we constructed a, basically a circuit that would work as you push in your coin mech. There's a little toggle switch. The toggle switch moves forward, energizes our motor. And then here we have a micro switch and the micro switch will go around. And when that turns off, it turns off the machine and it pulls, it lets, uh, releases the coil. And we'll take a look at that in a second, how it operates. It's pretty cool. Uh, that is for something that it, it's not there anymore, so we had to make this thing work. So, and you can see if uh, compared to the, the original video, everything in here was completely rusted and locked up, and now it's all really nice and free. Let's come around the other side. In the front, we have some original toys that were found inside here, and we're going to leave them there. And over here, you have your coin box. Again, we made these. Here's your coin box, and everybody was wondering, what's going on in here? Well, what goes on here is it's a gravel catcher. The Blue Street Crane and many of the other cranes, uh, they're usually set on a bed of uh, gravel. And as the machine, as you pick up your toy, sometimes you get some gravel, it'll go inside the hopper, and there's a little slot there that any small stuff will go into the gravel catcher, and it will not get caught inside inside here um, also I forgot to put that there but that is the remote control we can control the lighting here to be plain white red green blue or any of those other colors inside there and you can control the brightness you can you know and it's uh, just a really neat little feature you can strobe it so it turns on very quick or you can put it really smooth like uh, we have it right now well, let's come on the other side here. This is where the motor's at. Let's 
here's your main connection. You almost have to go back and uh, look at the original pictures. If you're watching this video, you saw some of the before pictures. And uh, this is what it looks like now. It's nice and neat, clean, and ready to make some more money. Well, enough talking about this machine. Let's see it work. We're gonna watch the video of it in the front, but no, I'm gonna show you how the mechanism uh, works. Here we are, we're gonna put our nickel in. It is going to push the toggle, energize it. As soon as I pull back, it's gonna pull back that coil down here and energize the motor. Now, we release and we will turn off after its full operation. There you have it. And now we are actually going to see it work for real. Well, here we go. As you walk up to the machine, decide what you want, like as in toys or money, and I say money. So we're going to. Move this thing around a little bit, and I think I want to go somewhere in the front over, let's say right about here. There's a bunch of money there, and I'm going to put my money inside for five cents and push in. The light will go on. And there we go. Oh, close. We need to go a little more to the right. Uh, nothing. Oh, boy. I'm going to try that again. That's... So you have to do your operation before, so I'm going to go a little more to the front, to the little right there. I'm going to go as far as I can. So here we go. Oh, there it is. Come on. Oh, there we go. We got some coinage. have it it's too bad these aren't worth anything it would be <laughs> pretty good there you have it if you have a machine for sale like this or you need one restored please give us a call we're located in chicago illinois our phone number is area code 630-624-7466 thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the new machines coming to the warehouse